What's up guys and welcome back to the vlog. Check us out man, the second part in the Oklahoma series. You guys probably already saw the first half where we tore the fish up on big swim baits this morning. We are out here with Aaron, Chef Bad Bass, Jeremy fishing the Lone Star, Devin, <laughs> wifey Devin, and we are gonna go ahead and slay some more bass man. Second half of the day, new pond out here and a uh, little gun range too. Might have to break out that boat. Might just have a little extra fun in today's episode. Anyways guys, we're dropping in the yaks, we're dropping in the boat, we're about to hit these bass up. No way. Nice. Was that your first cast? Jeez. Dude, they are hugging that side. Woohoo! Heck yeah. Oh, got one. I'm on. Oh, oh man. <laughs> nice. Quality fish. That was fast on the fluke. It has been a minute. See you, bud. All right. Let's get back in there. Did he let it go? Nope. There we go. First one on the Texas rig for me today. Watermelon red flake bandito bug. Young buck. We'll let him go for something a little bit bigger, hopefully here. Re-rig the bug. Get back in there. Working it over some logs on the bottom. I'm working right through that tree. Just got snagged. There we go. Popped it free. Ooh, I'm working right through the thick stuff. How have I not got hit yet? Oh, he's got it. Oh, it's bluegill. Yeah, that's just gill right there. I keep getting smoked, smoked by those bluegill, dude. <laughs> but that was actually a bass. There we go. Oh, that was like a four, dude, on the citizen. Dang. I'm gonna try a crankbait. There we go. Got a little guy on the T rig. Oh, he's not half bad. Right there in the shade. I just threw the frog there and he didn't bite it. So I went back in with the Texas rig and he munched it. Bandito bug. Man, it's been a minute since I got a fish. I think that's number three or something today. He's pretty healthy looking though. Let's get him back. I see one going down for it. Got him. There we go. All right, he was swimming down for it. Cool. Come on up. Nice. That's a that's a decent one. It's been so long since I've caught a fish today. Holy smokes. I think this is only number four or five, but. Nice fish though, there we go guys. Solid on the bandito bug watermelon red flake freshly tied on. They were hitting only moving baits earlier and then we just kind of warm out on that. Now it's getting real toasty. In fact, I think this was supposed to be one of the hotter Sundays on record. Let me get this bandito bug re-rigged to try and get one or two more fish for you guys. Got him. Swim in the bandito boat. All right. There we go. That'll do. Sometimes you just gotta cruise them along. <laughs> nice one, bud. Thank you, sir. Peace. Oh, you stuck on my glove. 
What up guys, quick cut back to the house. It is now uh, today, it is Sunday, May 17th and my phone is going haywire. Let me put that on silent. Uh, I felt like there just wasn't enough catches in today's video. It definitely was upbeat, it was soothing, relaxing, some different jams. Uh, again, not enough fish. I don't wanna cut you guys off at like five minutes, so we are gonna crank out an unboxing, show you guys the latest and greatest tackle from Carl's Bait and Tackle that we have picked up in our most recent order and uh, cover when I might use some of these items, whether, uh, let's just open the stuff up and I'll tell you about it. First of all, guys, it is like about to be summertime. The bass are munching on the topwater frogs. You guys have been seeing me use this guy right here, but in white. And uh, the black one I wanted to get because in the stained water, you're supposed to use these darker colors. So that probably just was crazy in y'all's ears. Anyways, let me show you guys the filthy frog. This guy right here walks like no other. That black color, that black belly is gonna be great for those more stained waters. I've been throwing the white in the clear. What you wanna do is cut those legs down a little bit and you'll be able to walk that frog a little bit better. You can give him some good action working him in all the right areas. So I would recommend throwing him right at sunrise or right at sunset unless you've got a place that is just thick with grass. Midday you can get some of those top water strikes when they are hiding in it. Then. We grab some of these guys right here. Y'all have seen me absolutely destroy in one of our kayak videos on the Exo Ribbons. These are bio spawn baits, you guys. It is a curly tail worm. Seven inches and we got different colors. The three that we picked up this time were black and blue flake, red shad. That one is dangerous, guys. That one's dangerous. We smoked them on that color last time. And then watermelon red flake. Cannot go wrong with a watermelon red flake in clear water. Black and blue for your more stained waters. Red, shoot, I used it just midday sunshine heat. And here's how I fished them. I fished them Texas rigged. I think it was a quarter ounce weight, but you can either drop these down and kind of play with it on the bottom like your traditional Texas rig. Just pop it, pop it, pop it, let it work the bottom, reel in the slack. But what I was doing was swimming them. That curly tail right there creates that action where when you're just creeping this thing in with a steady retrieve, I mean, you're gonna get bit. So these are very versatile. Work them on the bottom, midway through the water calm. You're gonna catch some bass. That's why we had to get them in different colors. We're gonna be throwing these left and right. Now, I got a couple different crankbaits. Check me out. You know Devin and I just got the boat. We had to get some recons, man, some deeper diving cranks. We're not just gonna be hitting the ponds. So we got the uh, standard recon in a shad color. I'm loving the shad colors when it comes to the crankbaits. I feel like I get bit whether the water is dirty, whether it's clear. So we have got the recon right here, which is a diver. It goes down eight to 12 feet. If you're throwing it on braid, it's not gonna dive as deep. That's not necessarily recommended. Floral carbon is what I would stick with. 12 pound floral carbon is gonna get you to that depth rating at its peak. Uh, also, when you start cranking your crankbaits, if it's a deeper diver, you wanna crank them pretty quick, get them down to that depth, then you wanna slow it down to where they're just really smooth cruising and they got that good wobble at their appropriate depth. Then, we got a Grande Recon. This guy right here, about the same thing. He's got a little extra flash. He's gonna be down there deep. You wanna get their attention. And this one dives 15 to 20 feet. So you're talking about now real deep water that we can now fish off that boat instead of just the typical bank fishing, which we're not stopping. We're not stopping. Bank fishing, kayak fishing, it's all coming your way. You've seen that in today's video. Jackal Ganterelle, guys. This is one of our favorite bluegill swim baits. In fact, I'd go as far as to say it is our favorite bluegill swim bait, except for I'm really liking that pink one Jared sent us. Uh, Devin was crushing on that thing recently. This guy does not have a bill. It stays very close to the surface. You don't really have to worry about losing this unless you were to use some light line and just like cast it off because your knot's not good enough or these things of that nature. So, or things of that nature. <laughs> Tie you a good Palomar knot with 15 plus uh, pound line. You should be good to go. And I think you're going to have a great time throwing these jackal ganterelles you just want to cast them maybe at like a 45 degree to the bank and i'm telling you what as you creep it in the bass are lurking they're ready to eat some gills and they have been crushing it that's the spawn gill color the original color we got when we picked that thing up you know we had to get some more boomerang snips i think we need a pair for the boat to stay dedicated because we've got a couple for the backpack when Devin and i go out can never have enough of these it is just a cutter tool for your braid, fluoro, anything and everything. It works so good, man. You gotta pick you up a couple of these. By the way, you guys can save 30% on all your baits and tackle like we do when you go through Carl's Bait and Tackle as a Carl's Club member. Sign up with the link in the description. Let's keep on going here. We got a few more juicy little nuggets. Got some grass heroes, man. You have seen us destroy on these uh, so much lately. I mean, they've just been killing it. I wish uh, I could have grabbed some of the core, or half ounce, but they sell out so fast, man. They sell out so fast. I got some quarter ounce and three eight ounce in the white and the rotten pumpkin color. So if it's real natural water and they're feeding on gills, you wanna go with that rotten pumpkin. If it's a little bit more stained or if you know they're chasing shad, boom. If that is what they're eating, you need to feed them the shad right there. I usually throw a saucy swimmer as the trailer and I'm usually talking about the 3.3 inch and you just wanna match the color up to your uh, swim jig there. 
I like the half ounce and the reason I wanted to order that is because it gets down into the grass faster and I wanna be able to work it pretty quickly, kind of popping through that grass. These lighter ones right here are good for the shallow water, but I want it to sink down in there. So the 3 8 is probably gonna be my preferred size out of these two, but I'm just gonna go with the right color for the occasion. Then, we got some weights in here. You guys know I love Wu Tungsten. They've been so great to us, but I had to stock up on a couple more while I was waiting for a shipment from them. So I got a couple uh, quarter ounce flipping weights. This is by Heavy Metal Tungsten, y'all. Check these babies out. Three pack, gotta have the Texas rig weights. Then we've got some drop shot weights. And that's about gonna wrap things up. We got two more items in the box. Check us out right here. These guys are, uh, this is actually tungsten weights. I don't always recommend buying tungsten when it comes to your drop shots just cause it's uh, much more expensive and you're probably gonna lose them and get snagged a lot. But uh, on these ones on Carl's Bait and Tackle, they're just quite affordable. So I went ahead and got a couple three packs. This is the pure tungsten brand. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be throwing a lot of drop shots on these, especially when it comes to that uh, midsummer heat when the bass are out deep and they're just chilling and not wanting to eat. Just like in the winter time, it gets like that again, y'all. Spring is good to us, but when summer hits, we're gonna have to finesse it down, I assume, and go with that drop shot again to get those bites here and there. Um, that's just one of my confidence baits, man, drop shot. When they ain't hitting nothing else, that's an easy go-to. Last in the box, guys, we got some swim bait jig heads. And we really got these for some striper fishing missions we were going on. Uh, we were gonna just throw some shad swim baits on the back of these, but I'm gonna toss a lot of different things on these so that you guys can see what they're used for. You'll just get any soft plastic swim bait uh, that's appropriate for this size head right here. And you'll just cruise them right on through the water and have yourself a good old time and catch some big old fish. So we're gonna showcase all this stuff in future videos. You're gonna be seeing them get thrown. I hope you enjoyed today's video, though where we had a blast on the kayak. I enjoyed showing you guys the full retrieves on today's video. Something a little bit different. I like to mix things up a little bit. Watching a lot of tactical bass and I really value the learning experience when you can see the whole retrieve instead of just like, oh, cast catch. Uh, there's a time and place for that and you know I love doing it, but today was a little bit different. We'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. <gasps>